How is um how is Alpha Land going? Obviously, I, I message Christian every time, all the time, but he, he doesn't reply because you know what he's like. He's too busy. He, I, I don't even think he opens it, and he might open Instagram like once a once a month or something, once in a blue moon. Um, it, it's it's going. I guess the only thing I could say is it's going to be amazing. It's just gonna it's just taking some time to get there because if anyone knows Christian, he is such a I don't know if perfectionist is, but he has such these big, big visions and big dreams. And I don't think he wants to have anyone experience Alpha Land until it's the exact vision that he has. And the vision that he has is just wild. Um, and I think it's going to be a, a truly an iconic location in the country of, 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 of a hub, a place we can, a place that people can go to connect it with, with, with fitness. And, you know, the Alpha Lead gym has, has grown so much and it's crazy seeing him expand from the, his, thousand square foot gym that I visited with Nick Wright back in 2014, 15 to, you know, the four gyms he's had in between to alpha land. And, um, he's putting in tons of work and it's taken a lot more time and money than I think he imagined. Cause when he rented this or he, when he bought the building in February, I think his plan was to open it by June. It was a very short amount of time. And just, and then, and then it was like, okay, then it's going to be it's going to be August. It's going to be November. It's going to be December. Okay, definitely by January, we're going to do it. Okay, February, at least the office people are going to be in there. Now it's estimated, I think, April to be completely open to the public and maybe around March that like, like myself, for example, and other people that are going to be in the office buildings can be in. But it, it's, all, it's going to be wild when it's done, man. It, it's going to be really, really cool. How has how how obviously COVID affected the whole situation with Alpha Land? Um, I know that a lot of, uh, they've had to do a lot more like precautions and I guess sanitations on the building. I know a lot of the workers, he now is a project manager that, you know, ensures everyone's, you know, doing things up to code. I know for a while he ran into some issues where some of the workers ended up getting it. So they had to shut it down. They had to sanitize, get new workers in that were all tested. And um, now there's a lot more procedures, I'm sure with, with everything that's happening. But it, he went through like a, a little bit, little bit of a bumpy phase, but now it's, pretty full steam ahead. It, it's really, really coming together. If, if anyone, if you were to walk the property, you would understand, people can't wrap their head around the, the scale of this building and like the, the, the things that he's doing to it. And then you understand why it's taking so long because he's trying to have this wild, he doesn't want to have like the soft opening. He doesn't want to have a, a lackluster experience when people come in that he wants to be grand on the first one. It's kind of like when you when you renovate a house, or you buy a house, and everyone's like, "You don't need to do everything all at one time." Christian's like, "I want to do it all at one time. <laughs> I want to have." He, he wants to have the entire building, the whole facility, what it exactly should be. Not like, okay, you know, a couple months down the road, then we're gonna upgrade the offices. We're gonna do all this. He, he's just going all in right now. So, I'm excited for it to be open, and I'm also excited for it to be somewhat finished. Even though there's phase two and three that he hasn't told the world about with that the facility, but I'm excited for Christian to kind of maybe take a step back and relax for a little bit because he's just overworking himself is even like an understatement, man. And it, it's, it sucks as a friend seeing someone who's just like, he's, he's mm. drained every day. He's going like days and days without sleeping. And he's just, whether it's lack of help or trying to be his hands into everything. And it's just, it's sometimes it's hard as a friend to see someone like stressed out so much and there's like nothing I can really do about it. You know? Yeah, I think the thing as well with Christian, like I said, I think he wants to do a lot of hands-on stuff himself where he could outsource it and he could get some, he could he could build a big structure to help him get to A to B a lot faster. That was one thing we learned. He could definitely do that. Um, but every time you, t you take a picture of him saying he's still alive and stuff, I mean, <laughs> he, he, he looks, he looks like he's working hard. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you know, you, you hear about people like, oh, you know, 12-hour days, you know, 10-hour days, like, you know, 80 hours a week. I was like, Christian's the epitome of that. He, he is just days without sleeping. He just he lives and breathes this project. And I think a lot of people are upset because maybe he's not making videos right now. But again, when those people come and enjoy Alpha Land and they see the project, they will completely understand why he had to kind of separate himself from social to, to build this legacy of a, of a complex for the people to enjoy. And um, it's, it's, it's good. I think it's all gonna be worth it. Um, I just, he needs to take like a four week vacation and just leave his phone and laptop, you know, in the room and just lay on the beach for a while. <laughs>